Hi everybody, so in this video we will go through how to install Win apps in Arch Linux and also the i3 Gapsum window manager. So it has been a long silence um, since the previous video. I um, have been busy with work and study. So everyone please stay safe, stay healthy. So um, Win apps is um, basically I came across to this software from the second link shown here in a Reddit post. And then of course um, the first link is the github link for these um, win apps and we will basically go to the apps here and you can see that it is trying to demonstrate that we can actually launch this Microsoft or Windows application such as like a native apps in uh, Linux okay so this is a slightly larger um, G file that you can actually see it from the reddit post here okay so um, this post and you can see that um, the PowerPoint is um, being shown here. Of course, um, it is not restricted to just the PowerPoint or Office application. It can be um, some other application as mentioned in the GitHub page here, like Adobe and so on. Right, so in this video, we will go through how to set up this um, Windows Virtual Machine and also these Win apps. And lastly, we will demonstrate this um, Office application here. So in this video, we will use um, Arch Linux and i3 Gaps. So in the next video, we will be using this um, Wayland, Wayland um, Tauling Window Manager, Sway WM, and to see what it will be, what will happen to the to the pop up um, dialog and so on for like for example Excel um, pop up dialog. So it will behave um, slightly differently, and one of the sort of like a small trick to to deal with that. Okay, so let's um focus on installing the um, the required um, software or it may be it may not be all required but um, that is what I used previously so we install this um, this uh, software here and then we enable the services start the services and then um, start the net start okay let's um, go through this together so I will um, put in this command in the description later and you will see from the description you can copy and paste okay let's look at this um, um, the, the, the commands okay so first thing we install the required um, software for the um, virtual machine of course um, I have already installed this one previously so I will just um, quit this command okay now um, the next step is that basically we need to um, let's say if we start the virtual machine now so i have two one is the virtual box one is um this one so basically most of the times i'm using um virtual box and i'm using this one as an illustration uh, because i think this win apps is actually interesting um development and also would like to share this interesting um software to everyone okay so if we start this um Virtual, mach virtual machine manager you will see that if you want to try to create a new virtual machine you see this error that is fine so you just need to um like you can cancel or you close it and then this is basically because um we have not enabled the uh, library of this virtual machine um service okay so uh we will have to enable it enable right so enable the service and then of course um, start the service right so okay so enable start the service then um, let's move to this part here and then you can see that now we have the same thing here but it looks okay now okay so at this point of course um, it's just an illustration I will just close this again and then um, I will just run one more command here um, net start default okay so we will have to start the networks um, the default network first otherwise you will see that NAT network is um, inactive later okay so over here we are still under this um, sudo um, of course you may if for for those if you have not used some um, KVM before you may want to um, you may need to do something like this perhaps so to add the um, the, the KVM and also um, lift VIRT to, to the user okay 
so you may want to run these two two commands okay so now let's look at how to how do we create um, a virtual machine in this um, it's the same page actually so let me back here and then just focus on this one right so now we start this um virtual machine manager and then we start a new one okay so focus on um, we will be going through the same steps here so local um, installation and then um, you browse to the the com uh the the image that you have so over here i have like um the the folder with the windows um installation and so office installation later on then um of course untick this one if it cannot um detect win 10 right so then go next and then forward and then um of course we can follow um the steps here it would be the same okay so the name here you may want to change it to rdp windows okay so as per indicated um here okay so you want to change it to rdp windows and also um take the customized configuration before install network um selection you can see that it is um virtual network default nat so if we have not run this code um previously um, okay not here this one um just now we ran this code right so um if you have not run this code then you will see that this part is inactive okay so now if this is okay click finish and then um we can just um tweak a little bit so we just um move to the right hand side a little and then um change to the cpu and then um of course you get this xml part right so go to the cpu xml and then you can basically go to the clock so it's a bit small here but um, you basically just follow the the one indicated in the in the page, and then um, you can just replace the clock command here. Okay, so I just like to make this thing align. Okay, right. So now you can um, the next one would be okay. It's the same thing. Then the next one would be um, you can change the current allocation to 1024 is the um, recommended one so memory and then click um, yes to apply them okay and then go to here and then i just want to change this one to 1024 so we follow the suggested um, um, setting okay and then uh, what is the boot option and then of course click yes again start virtual machine on host boot, boot up and then um, uh, it's the same thing right so Go to the SATA this one and then um, click yes okay and then you want to change this to virtual io right and um, what is the next one nic and then um, change it to virtual io as well so nic and then change this to virtual io right okay so add hardware the next one is to add hardware and then go to this uh, storage and then you want to add the cd room okay so change this to cd room and then you want to add, link it to the um, iso file that you have earlier right so you have to in, um, download one iso file so choose the that you downloaded earlier so it's um, actually on, on uh, put it here right so you can download from here this um kvm uh, this one okay for all this stroke so you can download this this part and then um can can then um later link it to here okay so we we have not or we forgot to mention this thing so um download this link and then um and then you can actually uh, manage and then link it to here okay okay so um once you have downloaded the the file so we can actually link it to here and then of course we browse to the download part and then we just get to this um virtual io wins um iso file okay right so once we have linked it to here and then um the next one is again just to click finish and then it is good to to start the installation okay so we will click installation and then um we will click um okay now okay so click yes okay so you will see this part here and then um, we just click the um, load driver so you we just follow exactly the same 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 process
okay so we choose this uh windows 10 okay just like this one and then click next okay so everything will be the same now and then um, just continue until we have fully set up this um, uh, windows installation okay so we just click next and then um, we will just wait for the um, installation okay so now we have um, completed the installation of windows um, and then we will basically go to the next few steps so we will have to run this um, the first exe file and then um, the second one the gas tool is not um, compulsory but I will just install this one then we merge the registry and then rename the PC enable remote desktop and then uh, the last step to install um, office so that we can um, test on the, the result okay so um, the exact detailed steps is actually in the page here in the github page you can follow exactly the same as the github page so you can fast forward um, this this part um, the installation and then um, you can also follow the, the github page on this um, setup okay so now let's go through this together and then um, of course we will have to double click on this one and then go to the last one find the um, 64 x 64 right so the third last and then um, just install this one okay okay right so once we have installed this one of course um, the next one is just to download the registry or if needed then you need to download the um, if, if you want you can download these um, guest too right so you can go to the same page um, same github page in, um, in order to, to get the link okay so we will just um, quickly go through this one and then um, click finish here and then this is the installation right okay so um, near to the end so the gas tool um, we can install the gas tool um, and then um, click run let's say and then um, we will have to add the registry as well so we will basically need to download the registry okay so let's um, make it to larger okay click yes and then um, this is to install the guest tool and then um, the next one is just to scroll up and then um, from here right so right so right click um save target as so you can um right click and then save target as okay and then click save so this one um click install and we can open the folder and then um, thing after this should be fine so we can close all the tabs here okay right so um while waiting for this uh, to install then um of course we can go to the page here you can see that um the the page actually show a very um detailed installation and also the the setup um steps so you should always um check with the the page on um what what are the steps that is needed okay so over here i'm just um showing the the some of the the um focus on the more important one only okay right so that we have a bit slightly bigger so right click and then we can click merge um, to merge this um, registry okay then click ok sure to continue successfully okay right so now we go to the next one is to about and then um, just to rename the PC right so rename the PC to RDP Windows as well okay again um, rename this one after that um, you will have to enable the remote um, we will restart later and then um, click at the remote desktop and then enable it and then confirm okay right so these are the the steps um. okay so starting from here sound is muted thanks to the comment from other viewers so i'm recording now the the voice um and will merge it back to the youtube video okay
So what we are doing now is to install the Microsoft um, Office um, through the image file and while waiting for the Microsoft Office to, um, to install so we can actually do the um, setup on our Linux system first. So what we can do is um, of course I'm um, following the steps um, from the GitHub page so we can um, First, git clone the folder into the directory that we want. So over here, I'm um, just um, copying into my home directory. So you can copy to other directory. And then uh, once you have done the git clone, then um, we just do a change of directory into this win apps. I'm following the steps from GitHub. Of course, you can do these steps some um, later on. Now we move on to this. I'm um, creating the configuration file of the win apps. So um, we create this um, configuration file inside the co .config folder and then um, name as winapps. Okay, so now, um, okay, so we will um, use the command to, 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 to uh, in create this directory. Okay, so under .config folder and then um, win is a typo here, so it's winapps. Okay, now um, once you have created the directory, inside that directory, we create another file which is the um, winapps.conf.configuration. Um, okay, so we touch and then um, create another file. Okay, right, and afterwards then we can copy the, the config sample configuration from the GitHub page into the config file now. So we copy from here, and then um, paste into here. So, um, okay, so one more time. Right, so, then um, you can see that the first row here um, could be a bit small, so let me zoom in. And um, the first row here is for the user, so you can um, create this um, user, like what you have for your, for your uh, virtual machine, okay? so. The password that you use for your virtual machine as well, okay. Okay, right, and then um, the domain here, we call it, name it as RDP Windows. So first row and second row is specific to your setup. Third row, you can um, follow the RDP Windows. Okay, so once you have set, set up this tree, and then I realized that I, I will need to Okay, I change it to one, two, three, four, just for example. So that would be um, what we have here. Okay, so as you can um, see from here, the office is still installing. And then, um, okay, right, so waiting for the office to be installed for a while so you can fast forward a little bit from here um, we are waiting for this to be um, done installing Okay, so I'm not too sure why um, previously I was clicking here and there. Uh, uh, basically, we, we, we are just um, waiting for the office to be installed. And um, perhaps I talk something or I speak something um, during that time, but I can't recall that um, what, what I was um, talking. Okay, but um, generally over here, we, we are waiting. And then later on, um, once we've done the setup, then we can just follow the the, the the commands or the, the steps uh, introduced or described by the um, GitHub page. Okay, so now um, the office is done um, install, installing, then um, we can try to see um, to, to start uh, um, the Excel file, uh, Excel application. 
So this is the first time we start this one. So enter the product key. Um, I will just skip this step because um, this is for, for illustration purpose only. So I, I, I'm not using this one um, for, for my, for my uh, uh, daily work. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I'm just doing a checking on this um, virtual machine so that make sure um, the, the Excel is actually running because um, later on we will be using this remote apps. Okay, so um, it seems like everything is okay. Um, then again, uh, I, I can't recall actually um, or exactly what I was um, speaking that time but um, we have to restart the, the PC now so which is the, the last steps here so once we have done um, all the setup here right so as um, highlighted here so we restart the virtual machine but do not log in so this is um, the, the key thing here don't log in and then just um, close the VM viewer and also the virtual machine uh, manager which is the what we will be showing later Okay, so um, while waiting for the virtual machine to, to start up, right? So we don't have to log in. Um, just close the windows. Um, the this window. So we, I will close it. And then um, don't log in here. So I will close it. Um, okay, so it somehow some catch my 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 keyboard. Uh, Okay. Uh, I think that that should be a close instead of a quick, but um, it it should be work, working working as well. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now you can run this one and try to see what will happen. So you you may see some some of the. So remember, run this um command term um, inside the Win Apps folder, the CD Win Apps that we we have run just now. So you can see that um because I I use a close just now. Uh, a quit just now instead of a close so I get this um, error so if you use a close then it should be fine so that time um, it was a, a, a if you close it uh, sorry if you quit it then you will see this um, issue okay so now this this is running as you can see from here um, it is running then um, I just basically use the um, keyboard shortcut to, to close the window so when I run this thing it is still saying that not running right so um this is a reason um, um the, the reason or the the key the things to to solve this here is we need to create the config file the the qemu the config file under our um home directory so that um uh, i will illustrate this thing here so remember just now um we see this one um we have already ensure that this um, virtual machine is actually running right so um, we get this error then we, I mean, when we try to start this one you reali realize that you cannot find this domain right so this one is um, basically if you use sudo you should be able to run that but um, to, to solve this one basically you can create a config file inside this um, so I'm copying the config the, the default config of the libvirt lip word i think pronounced in this way so um, i am copying this um, config lip word as you can see from the directory here the config i copy this file into the home directory and then we find for the lip word um, under config.config .config folder and then libvirt this folder and then i paste it here so at this point if you can't see the lip word um, folder um, lock up or lock in or a restart of your PC you should be able to see that folder um, and then the last line here we uncomment it okay so of the config file that we copy from the um, just now so we uncomment the last row so you can see that now you can actually run the, the command um, to start the RDP windows over here we make sure that we put a capital Y yes so we want to trust the, the, the certificate so this step it would be the same as what we mentioned in the github page okay so i realized that we need the last row to be uncommented before we can actually run this thing otherwise um, it will be always in sudo um, okay so now 
it's just some um, waiting and then you will probably see that this thing um pop up so if you will ask this thing click yes anyway so just sign in um and, and then um, a, a folder the file explorer in windows um, will be shown here okay so over here this part um you can see that it's a black color of windows um it seems like something is not too right um i will just close it and then uh let me see okay so this 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 one um i was still waiting for the file explorer to to be launched but it seems like it doesn't um when i was running this one okay so um we can actually stop this one and run one more time and see how okay so i use Control c to interrupt and then i um, run the check one more time so you can see that now um file explorer is shown so basically it shows that um everything is okay so we can proceed to once you can get this file explorer um shown basically all the setup is okay okay so we can just proceed and then to run the the install okay so of course if you run the install you will basically um uh the the the, the, the script will basically create the dot desktop file so that you have the the menu or the option to choose in your menu right so um, this is running and then uh, we will wait for a while you can see that one expo file explorer i'm um, shown here and then um, this one wait for a while and then over here i'm just i'm um, going through the all all application and you see some permission denied i'm not too sure um i didn't check in details on this thing so you can see that now the Rofi is actually showing the Excel um, application, but um, it 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 do it does take take a while to to launch. Um. Okay, so so we try to run the Excel and then. Um, you can see that um it, sh it is shown here now um again this is what we show um we have seen just now in the windows um environment okay so now you have this uh excel file um looks that looks like native application in window um in linux environment okay so that is um if you are using i3 um, i'm using i3 gaps here you can see that keyboard shortcut everything is okay um I will just go through a little bit like um, pop up menu is also okay the file dialog is also okay so if you are using um, Wayland the Sway window manager SWAY um, you can see that this dialog will be minimized to the minimum uh, width and height so that one I will uh, illustrate or, or demonstrate again in the, the other video okay so over here um, basically everything is done and you can see that the, the setup is okay function keyboard shortcut auto complete using tab um, everything is just um, working fine okay so um, although it's not um, illustrated here but i do have um, tested using um, this one to access to other directory uh, it seems like okay so you can um, run in this way of course if you do not want to use the uh, script you can also use the um, free rdp command to, to run this um, the application okay so that is um what we have here and then um, of course i choose a don't save here and i think the illustration will be here um thank you again for the comments on the muted part i did not notice about this one sorry for for the for the inconvenience and then um now i'm adding in this audio thank you